Today we're gonna to be talking about ways that you can teach the alphabet or your ABCs to your kids. So some great ideas and lots of inspiration so that you can help your preschoolers and toddlers learn their alphabet. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. I have a lot of ideas in this video. We're talking about learning the ABCs, learning the alphabet with your preschoolers or toddlers. There are a lot of fun ways and options out there to do this, and of course, it's all play-based. Let's get started with some ideas. I think for this video, I wanna start off with what is easiest for the youngest of the young, and that's why I thought of this one from Play Foam or Educational Insights. I asked Educational Insights to send me this one to show you guys because of the simplicity. So it's called Shape and Learn Letter Sounds. They're recommending it for ages three and up. And inside you get all of these cards. There's 13 double-sided letter cards and then these fun colors of play foam. So play foam, if you've never tried it before, it's a great tactile sensorial tool to use with your kids. Eight different colors and they're pliable so you can move and mold them and shape them. These are just letter cards but they're made in a way that they're big enough that you can actually build over them. I don't know if you can see it's so small down here at the bottom. They do have the name of the item that is on here. The picture or the item corresponds with the letter sound. Look at the piano. That's cute. That's one says pianist on it. Narwhal, llama, horse. I would recommend if you are doing this activity with your kids to, let's do the purple, to go ahead and let them explore the material first. Sensory can be kind of tricky because sometimes kids are sensitive to touch, especially if they're sticky or if they're a new sensation. I know for the longest time, my daughter, she did not like to touch anything that felt wet. So that would be like slime or it would be even water. She didn't even like to be touched with water. Finger paint was also an issue. So she was really sensory sensitive and it took her a while to get acclimated to those kinds of touch. Play foam is moldable little beads all kind of put together. It never dries out, which is one of the reasons why I like it. It even makes a sound. Let me see if I can put it up here towards the microphone. Can you hear that? So it does make a sound, but it doesn't go, go gooey on your hands. So it is a little sticky to touch, but after you're done, there's no residue left over. If this is a new sensation for your child, I would recommend just exploring the foam to begin with, testing it out, squeezing in your hand. It might be just kind of a touching with the finger if you have a sensory sensitive child. If not, you can probably just go right into the activities. So what we have here for the activities is something like this, the cards. So this is a Z for zebra. And what is great is that these letters on these cards are made big enough so that you can mold your play foam into the shape of the letter. So I'm just doing it freehand here, but they can put it on top of the letter and mold it to match the letter. As you're doing this, you'll probably point out letter recognition. You know, you're working on a Z. This is the letter Z. Another thing I want to point out is these are all capital letters. Usually you start off with capital letters first. A question I get asked all the time about learning letters is, do you do one letter at a time or do you do multiple letters? How do you work that out? It depends on the philosophy you want to work on. Sometimes um, a lot of people tell me that you should just focus on one letter. Sometimes you work on letter sounds versus letter names. You know, I'm a kind of a big believer of do what you feel is best for your child and it will all work out in the end. So whether or not you want to start just working on the letter sounds versus the letter name, you can do that. You can work on all the letters, a couple letters, one letter a week. I mean, there are so many different schools. I was trying to make this whole X and it's not working out with all. <laughs> I might have to borrow some from my Z. Let's borrow some from my Z. Um, but whatever method you choose, try it out and see how it does, see if it works and continue on with your child. So I think it's just really important to note that you get to decide what's working or not for your child. And you can start with one philosophy and you might find yourself in a whole other different world. So just some food for thought there. I'm pretty flexible, you guys. I mean, a lot of times I get comments of things that need to be a specific way or a certain philosophy and people are saying that's not right. Do what you feel is most appropriate for your child. Okay, so we have a Z here. We have an X here. You could do the whole alphabet, but if you're doing one letter at a time, maybe it's just one letter and you do it in all the different colors, you get to pick. So I like this because of the sensorial component. It comes right off the card and they can do it over and over again. You can also use these cards individually because they're just beautiful pictures. I like the vase. Just nice artwork. It's really pretty to look at, visually engaging. Let's take it one step further. So once your kids have worked on basic letter recognition and you feel that they have kind of mastered that skill, you might want to consider moving up to something a little bit
little bit more complex. This one, Learning Resources sent me because it has, it has so much. I mean, just these basic materials will go so far. Uh, this is for ages three and up, Skill Builders Preschool Learners Activity Set. And let me show you all the things you can do with your kids in here and just this one little packet. I do want you to keep in mind that you might have some of these materials already and you just need to adapt them and use them in different ways. Think about what you might already own to do some of these activities. Or if you need a set that has it all inclusive, this is definitely a good one because it has all the things in there already. So that's one of the reasons why I picked it out. I have one package of lowercase letters and one package of uppercase letters. These are in rainbow colors. So if your child is just working on letter recognition, once again, start off with those capital letters first. And these are actually beads. This is why we have the string in here. And so they have little holes on them so that you can lace them. So first off, I would recommend introducing these, maybe playing around with them, examining them, look at them, noticing that they're all different, different letters. You could even group them by color if you wanted to just to kind of engage your child and get interest in what these are before you start doing the heavy work right so I'm going to put them here all grouped together sorted by color aren't those so fun and colorful I'm, I'm a sucker for rainbows if you guys <laughs> didn't know I just adore rainbows when I was a little girl I always was making rainbows in kindergarten true story my mom would come and pick me up from school and she knew immediately which artwork was mine because it was always a rainbow I just loved all the colors so so we have this in capital letters. This whole package is lowercase letters. It's the exact same thing. It also comes with the string too. So here we can have a simple letter recognition. You can put all of the letters in the correct alphabetical order. You can work on that one letter if you're doing the one letter approach. Maybe just pull out that letter and use that in other activities too. What I really do enjoy about this is this lacing string. So we know fine motor strength is really important in the little ones because you need to evolve those fine motor muscles in the hand because they basically help us with everyday life, especially writing. So working on fine motor skills, super important because it says hone in on those muscles. So lacing becomes a really good fine motor activity because of that detail work in taking the letters and pushing them through the lacing and then push them all the way down. You can have them lace them in order. If they've done this for a while and they're already on to like CBC words, you know, making simple words, that kind of thing, you can have them make words, the letters of their name. The lacing is also really cool too, because once you've learned your letter names and you know what your letter names are and your letter sounds are, you can move into that alphabetical order. So you can string a couple along for your child and say, okay, what comes next? We have A, B, C, D, E, what comes next? And then they have to find which letter. When you're starting that activity, always start out with fewer. Don't give them the whole alphabet at first because that can be a little overwhelming. So just maybe have a couple letters out like right here and say, which one of these letters comes next? A, B, C, D, E, which one? And then they can pick from that. Once they get super smarty pants, which of course they will because you're teaching them these great skills, you can do the whole alphabet and add in more letters for them to choose from. What about those lowercase letters? Well, of course, of course they have to learn the lowercase letters, but then they also have to learn that the capital G has a lowercase g. Where is my lowercase g? Here it is. So we can now start pairing up letters once we've learned both cases. So this is another great activity of just matching up the letters. I've got my G and my H and my F all matched up here with their uppercase and their lowercase. So as you can see, as you're learning letters, there's so many different aspects of them to learn. Most importantly are the letter sound because you're going to need that for reading. Then it's also the letter name and then you've got the uppercase lowercase to work on and the order of the alphabet too. This kit has even more stuff than just these letters. We have this great num or number. What am I talking about? Color. <laughs> Color spinner. Use this for games. You can spin this and say find all the yellow ones. You can do turn taking saying I'm going to spin. Oh, a yellow. I can take a yellow. Your turn and then go on and they can pick one. You can spin and say oh, a red one. I'm going to pick this red one and the letter sound is and do the letter sounds. You can keep spinning to see what color you're going to put on your lacing next. Then we also have this set of cards and I really do like this one because check it out. 
They just thought of everything. So they're double-sided, but look what's on the other side. They are tracing cards. So these are made with that dry erase material, so you can go ahead and work on tracing. Now, writing doesn't come until later after they've kind of learned their letter sounds, phonics, that kind of thing. And a lot of people talk about, oh, you shouldn't teach, you know, a child too young to write. Some kids love it. Some kids want it. This is tracing with a dry erase marker on each card, and it happens to be each letter of the alphabet so that they become familiar with the letter formation. The only thing on this card is that it's not showing you the correct way. So it's not truly like a writing card. It's more of a knowing what the shape looks like and then also just doing a little fine motor and pen control. So I'm okay with that at this stage and it's just fun. It's not let's literally learn how to write the proper way. It's more of a let's trace lines kind of thing, which is a pre-writing skill anyway. You can even use these cards and um, match up the letters so you can find the two letters that match this one add them to the card you can do a couple of cards if you're just working on one letter you can do the card for that letter you can put a whole bunch down and make it into a busy bag which is what I used to do when I had the really young ones then on the other side you have the letter sound so you can use both sides to figure out what that letter sound is or you can put some of these cards out and work just on those letter sounds and finding the letter that matches that card and placing it on once again another instant busy bag multiple ways you can do this and use these cards and then it's self-checking they can check their answers on the back but wait there's more. <laughs> there truly is so much in this kit. Learning Resources has included these really fabulous worksheets on here and I was so impressed when I pulled these out because they have so many activities that are done for you that you can use with whichever lesson you're working on. The letter recognition, the letter order, the letter sound, and here's beginning sounds. And so these little cards are perfect to just kind of take all of the things in this kit even one step further. That's what I was talking about how they just took a couple of materials and really understood the different ways that you could use them. This one I wanted to include, although it's not focusing on letters, it's kind of that next step up that you would go to. It's hand to mind beginning word builder. So we're now working on word building, not solely letter recognition, but some of the pieces in here, you can start off with letter recognition. Recommended for ages three and up. It's a hands-on way to practice spelling, reading, and identifying words. We have a lot of decoding and blending in this kit. We get the little activity guide. Always recommend reading those, you guys. Don't just toss them. They have good ideas in them. What is this little gadget? It's like the coolest thing. I can't wait to show you. And you get all of these letter wheels. Let's see. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight letter wheels. And I got to make sure they don't roll away on me here. Also, you get these sets of cards, which I'll talk about in just one second. A dry erase marker and another little card here that is just the best. I just hand to mind to send me this one because I thought it would be a great next step. So once you've done all the things with your child, you've learned the letters, you've learned the alphabet order, you've learned the phonetic sounds, what comes next? Building words. So before we get to building words, I just kind of want to show you that you have the opportunity for letter recognitions on these wheels. So these wheels have letters all the way around. They go on this little slat here on both sides. See? And they come off and they slide off and then they spin. There's this little tool here that you can put on here and it spins the letters for you on either side. You can also use your hand if you if you needed to. So it, you don't always need to use the white tool, but I do like the white little knob here. And then you have all the different letters on all these different wheels. So you could do a letter recognition or a letter review by going through and spinning each one and recognizing the letter. Now, more importantly, we need to be reviewing the letter sounds. So as you go through working and saying which letter sound is that, getting ready to work on all of that blending and decoding that you're going to do with this set. This one in the center is red because that is our vowel and our vowel switches on our wheel to cover all of our vowels. They're all there so you can switch it and I I guess you can see where we're going with this, making words. Okay, so let's put on another one. When you first start with children reading, it's not going to sound fluent. It's not gonna sound blended, but that's the reason why we practice. So we would work with the first letter sound, say it, move on to the next one, and then the next one, it's gonna sound isolated. Those sounds are gonna sound three separate words, <laughs> three separate syllables, and that's fine. Over time, and then also listening to you repeat them, they're gonna be able to start blending them 
together. So model it for them. Rig. And then you can switch the to the next word and do the next one that's related. It's a word family. So rib. What happens when you come to a nonsense word? This is not a word. Rick is not a word. But what you're doing, allow them to process and say each one of those sounds for each one of the letters because this is demonstrating to you as the parent, they're able to identify each letter sound individually, even if it is a nonsense word. Understanding if it is a nonsense word or not will come a little bit later, but you're just looking for those letter sounds and blending them together. So that way you know that they understand the concepts. You can change the vowel if you wanted to and do the rob, rock, rod, rough. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I just think that's the coolest thing ever. This set of cards is pretty cool because it just has our CV words and then we have VC words here. V being vowel, C being consonant. So we have a consonant vowel set of cards. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> vowel consonant set of cards. And then our CVC words, which are consonant vowel consonant. So you can start off really simply with your VC words. Take a card and see there's a little slot on top and you can put it on top here. Now their job to match up the letter that goes with it. Let's take off this one and then we can put on an am. And now we have a match for am. We can use another card and we can find the match that goes along for that one. Want to add another letter on it? These are actually made of a dry erase material and they give you a dry erase marker, the eraser on top, which I love. And so now you can add on another letter and you can actually build the word cat and you can fill in the letter here and you can spin to see if there's any other ones, fat and bat, that could be also part of this word family too. And then you can erase them. These are all double-sided, so you got lots of options here. And then you can work on up to your CVC words. And there's quite a few to work with. On the back of the CVC words, we have pictures. So if you wanted to do some name recognition or vocabulary work, you can just take one of the pictures, place it on here, and now you have a mystery. So what is this? How how can we build this word and then put our P on and now we have pot self checking. They turn it over and then they can see the answer that is right on the card. Another thing that they have also included is this guy right here. This is to use with the CV and the VC cards. And so you would write whatever it is up here on the card. And then there's some questions on here to build. So kind of extension, what new words can you build if you change the beginning and end sound and then you can write them here on the card. What new words can you build if you change the vowel and what new words can you build if you add a third letter. And then on the other side, this one's for using with the CVC words. So you can write it, draw it on the picture, and then ask you what new words you can build as well. So this one is it's the most challenging thing to do in this kit is to work on here because you're actually doing the writing. So you can see how it's very progressive of all the things I've shown you today from starting with exploring, playing with the foam, all the way up to something like this where you're actually writing and building new words. If you like this video about learning your alphabet or ABCs, make sure to check out this other one I made of quite a while ago. It has a lot of good information in it still. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.